uh, we're going to stay there for the weekend and it's kind of part of my birthday celebration and just something that we like to do every few months we like to go for a bit of a road trip we've booked a house through Airbnb hopefully it's not going to be too cold the weather forecast says that it will be around 14-15 degrees which to you guys probably isn't that cold but to us it's freezing uh, so hopefully it's going to be fun before every road trip we always try to fill up on a yummy breakfast. From Sydney to the Blue Mountains, it takes roughly 90 minutes by car. The drive to the Blue Mountains is quite scenic. It passes through some small towns and mountain views. If you've watched any of my previous travel vlogs, you should know by now how much I love Airbnb. It's so convenient and you get to stay in some of the most amazing places. We booked this house which has this amazing view and we get kangaroos that visit every afternoon. This house has so much space and can accommodate up to 12 people. One thing we loved about this house was the pool table and the table tennis outside. This sunroom was probably one of our most favourite rooms in the house because look at this view. If you are at all interested, I'll leave a link to the listing in the description box below. Beef. Oh, good idea. Beef. Chili pork? Beef. Cheese and cheese? Beef. 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 That we spent the first night just playing pool, eating pizza, and playing lots of board games. The second day at the house, we cooked our own breakfast and lazed about enjoying the sunshine and views. Sometimes, when you're on holidays, it's nice to just sit around doing nothing. Coming from the city, I still can't get over how surreal this view is. As I get older, I find that the best way to spend my birthday is having a good time with good food and good company. For the Game of Thrones fans out there, look how epic this board game is. On our third day, we finally decided to leave the house and do some exploring. Welcome to one of the most famous lookouts in the Blue Mountains. From here, you can get a panoramic view of the Three Sisters and the famous Jameson Valley. The Blue Mountains got its name from its distinctive blue tinge, which you can see from a distance. This tinge is created by the scattering of light caused from the eucalyptus oils in the eucalyptus trees. One of the most famous ways to get to the bottom of the mountains is via the giant stairway. It takes roughly 1.5 to 3 hours to get to the bottom. I've done it once before, but this time we decided to only go to the honeymoon bridge. We are 
are going to the gingerbread house. It is an old church that's been converted into a cafe or a lolly store or some, some kind. This place was recommended by one of our friends and I'm so glad she brought us here. Look at it, it looks straight out of a storybook. I was so excited by all the lollies and decorations. Lucky there was no evil witch hiding inside. It means no worries. If you have kids, this is a great place to take them. There's a little play area, as well as workshops and activities for the kids to take part in. Enough with the distractions, it's time for food. Mountains is definitely one of my most favourite weekend escapes from Sydney. Hopefully we can return again soon. Wondering Winnie. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and for more travel and food inspiration find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and don't forget to check out my blog. If you would like to help keep this channel going don't forget to check out my Patreon page as well. See you in the next video.